Good evening, everybody. Since it's SBC's 10th anniversary, I have written a very special song for SBC. I hope you like it. You've given me some happy times You've made me laugh and cry You have kept me company On many quiet nights I'd really like to thank you For always being there SBC I know you are a friend I've crossed a million Stones, Cause you've led me by the hand You've taken me around the world Ten times and back again So here are my best wishes There's one for every year SBC It's good to know you're here La 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 Happy birthday SBC La 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 Happy birthday SBC Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I am here today to sing that song, right? And I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about the English that we speak, okay? Because I think it's very, very unique to us. And I think it's something that we all do every day. It's called Singaporean English, okay? Now, to do this, I need to have um, a very special blackboard, which has been specially prepared. And I've got my two assistants, primary and secondary. They're going to come and help me. Okay, now, Singapore English. Now, what's so unique about it right now? Let's see. The first thing that identifies us all the time with Singapore English is the word, that magical word, L-A. No, not Los Angeles. La. We throw it on into the end of everything. So it's very simple. Like, for example, um, we would say something like, uh, this is SBC, la. And that makes, us, makes it sound so Singaporean immediately, you see. But nowadays, the word la has been, has been sort of extended, you know. I mean, people are fed up, they're bored of saying la, 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 because everyone can just copy it. So they just made it a bit more interesting by, they extended the word la, you know. Instead of just la, they made it a bit longer. For example, they say, um, this is SBC, le. <laughs> right? Yeah, we all say it now. I mean, who says la anymore when you can say le? It's so much more, it's so much more rich, you know what I mean? And then, there's the Cantonese influence, you know. The Cantonese influence has also made it like, like it's like frustration, like, okay lah, this is SBC law. <laughs> and it's very nice because you gotta, you gotta law, oh, you, must, you must do it like that, otherwise it doesn't sound right. And then, very, another way is very interesting, you can ask a question, you can make it sound like a question, like you go, this is SBC man. <laughs> and then, also the last thing that you can do also is that, if you're really frustrated and, and you know, like you really want to make a point, you don't, last time you say, this is SBC, la. No, no, no. This is SBC, what? Yes, thank you. Now, so these are, these are just a basic thing. These are everybody, everybody must know these words, especially now, this is 1990 Singapore English. Now, the other thing is that Singaporeans are always very identifiable when they go overseas. Why? Our, our English sticks out like a sore thumb, you know, like in Trafalgar Square, you know, you, you see all these tourists and then you always hear, Come on, la, come on, la! Always like the mother with her coming out screaming at the children. And then another one embarrassing incident I had was when I was with a Singaporean friend and then we were at this English restaurant in London, you know. And then, um, you know how Singaporeans are famous for condensing everything into one word, right? They don't like to speak much, you know, they just sort of cut everything short. So there was this, we were having dinner and, and my friend, the, the host, was saying to my friend here, uh, my Singaporean friend, like, he said, um, oh, I said it. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it. He said, he said to my friend, uh, 
uh, would, you like, would you like some potatoes in the meal? And my friend said, looked at the potatoes and said, no mine. No mine. And then I just kicked him and I said, this, you know, typical. And then after that, you know, he was clumsily trying to pour some wine and then he spilled some wine on his shirt, you see. Just like, just a, and then the, my, my friend, my English friend said, oh, I say, you've got a spot of wine in your shirt. He looked at the shirt, he looked at the shirt. Where God? <laughs> yes, one word, where God? <laughs> Family, dear, can you please hold this for me? Okay. And then, my friend, actually, he wanted the potatoes, you see. So he was too polite to, 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 to sort of, he didn't want to seem very greedy because he knew that we have a reputation for being, you know, buffet, buffet, uh, like, uh, you know what I mean? So he, he was very quietly looking at the potatoes, you know, all night long, but very malu, you know, he didn't dare to get it. And so my friend, the Englishman, was sort of looking and, are you sure you don't want some more potatoes? <laughs> Nani. <laughs> yes. Now, typical Singaporean one-word answers. This, here is another word, ladies and gentlemen. This word is a real puzzle. Wunla. It's got this Indian ring, you know. Wunla. It's such, it's such a... I didn't know what it I, was. It, is it an Indian word, a Malay word, or a Chinese word? I wasn't very sure. Certainly not an English word, but I found out it is a Singaporean English word. Now, how I discovered this word Wunla. I was in my office one day, okay. Now, my secretary taught this to me. She is the most punctual person in the world. And, you know, I always, I'm very, very worried whenever I'm going to perform that she'll be late, or I'll be late. So I was going to SPC, and I told her, Jessie, I said, make sure you go on time with my costumes, okay? This is very important because I mustn't be late. And she, being never late, she looked at me incredulously, incredulously, like I was stupid. She looked at me and she said, Let me! Wunna! <laughs> yes. If, you know what, you know? So, oh, okay. Now, so these are like really typical Singaporean words, right? Wunla, wunla, never mind. We got no need. Now, this word does not look like a Singaporean word. Please, girl. Yes, what word is this? Prosidicate. I've looked in every legal book and I've asked my friends, lawyers, it sounds such a, it sounds like sort of the official word for prostitute. But I can't, I can't figure out what it means. Huh? What do you think? We don't know, do we? Anyway, I was walking around. This is how I discovered this word, by the way. I was, I said la, didn't I? I was walking around at the airport one day. Okay, I was waiting for my flight, and I was wasting time. And I didn't know what to do, and I was just looking around the shops. And then all of a sudden, look at my watch, and then the announcement should come on now. Suddenly, the announcement came on. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, will all flights, will all, sorry, will all passengers on flight 57 to Bahrain? Please proceed to gate three immediately. <laughs> proceed to gate, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Now, with all these, with all these wonderful words, I mean, why waste them, right? It, this is poetic. I would think some would agree that Wen La has a very poetic ring. Shakespeare would have loved to use it. Uh, Romeo, Romeo, where for Adam and what? Okay. Now, now I'm going to, so I, I've got these, all these words and I put them together in a song, okay? And I'm going to do this song for you, but there is a catch. You have to help me sing the chorus, all right? Yeah, uh, ho, 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 ho. he's just dying to do it, this gentleman over there. Okay, now, I'm going to turn the board, girls, and this is the chorus. Now, you all know this song. It's a very, very famous local folk song. And every time this comes on, I want you all to sing it. There are microphones hidden under your chair to catch your voice, not other things, just your voices. Thank you, girls. Thank you, my lovely assistant, primary and secondary. Okay, now, let's have a little tryout, okay? Because we want to show the home audiences that, yes, studio audiences are real. Okay, they sing. Okay, let's go. Ra, sa, sa, one, two. Okay, wait, this is very important. Every time this happens, I'm going to throw my mic because this is, this makes the song modern, okay? This is my touch. This is my bit, the Singaporean bit. Okay, let's go. Rasa, one, two, three. Rasa, sayam. Come on, loud, everybody. Rasa, sayam, sayam, eh. Eh, nona. Louder. Rasa, sayam. Okay, full-blooded. 
Oh, very good, very good. Wow. Okay, now I have the biggest backing chorus I've ever seen in my life. Okay, let's go. The Singapore Swing. This is what they do once a year on Orchard Road. Okay, this is the exciting part. Notice the heavy action going on at my feet. Once upon a time, there were only trees and a lion or two enjoying the breeze. Then a boat arrived one sunny day and human beings were here to stay. Well, the king of the jungle couldn't really complain. He got the whole island named after him. And as for the lions, here's news for you. You can see their descendants at the Mandai Zoo. The island sits has come very far, all thanks to the man named Utama. No, we could not forget him if we tried. And what about Raffles? We love that guy. So here we are having so much fun. Can hardly believe this was a jungle once. Sometimes I can still hear the lion's roar going singer, singer, four. One, two, three. Rasa saya. All together. Rasa saya, saya. to do okay now let me explain in a little while this is not your ordinary tropical isle everything we have has to be the best of the fabulous east and the wonderful west of all the things we've got that's good at the top of everybody's list is food we got prata before so sedap what about the go-to part at the satay club if no ice kacang then fruit juice no until you faint so cheap some more yeah the best thing has to be the price singapore's my fried rice paradise you can eat 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 till you nearly drop then we all get up and we shop 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 and if you ask us how we rate this place we'll just say this is great una una Muna rasa sayang eh come on rasa sayang sayang eh eh lihat ya kan lo rasa sayang sayang eh boy okay i'm going to do this ah huh? you got to guess what this is okay malayan okay what is this what is this give up give up Work is quite okay. Life here is like a holy holiday. We take things easy. There's no big rush. Unlike other cities, there is no fuss. We work then, mark and watch a film. Enjoy the fruits of tourism. There are so plenty tourists, but we love their spending money. What? I know I made it when on my own I can afford a pager plus a cordless phone. And in my family, I wish. For Miss Singapore at 2.5 kids, success to us just simply means there is such thing as a Singapore dream. Eh, why we all don't want to say we just want lots of money, leh? That's what you a doer, a tiger. Rasa sayang, eh, rasa sayang, sayang, eh, eh, lihat nona jauh, rasa sayang, sayang. Oh, so ah, uh, when you think about it, how ah? Uh, Okay lah, can't complain lah. Eh, but Singaporeans famous for complaining. They are not about that old steam what? E, a, sa, rasa sayang. Eh, rasa sa, softly, softly. Eh, lihat dona jauh rasa. Okay, last one, one more time. Rasa. Sayang, sayang, eh. And you know what I heard, ah? They are thinking of changing the national flower to the durian. Rasa sayang, eh, rasa. Vendor is durian. Won la. Mm-hmm.
夜色茫茫，我爱着夜莺歌唱。